Hello everybody, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. This video will talk a little bit about variable scope. So what is variable scope? Basically, it's where you can use a variable. So let's just kind of show this. We create a variable score, we'll give it the value 50. And we can use that variable because we can print it. And in the last video we talked about functions. Well we could create a function, let's just name it game, which by the way you just lost the game. Oh. But anyways, uh, we don't necessarily have to give it a parameter. What we can do is we can just do things like we can print uh, variables that are outside of the function. So now when I say game, it's going to print out the value of score. So we can use this function within our, uh, I'm sorry, we can use this variable within our function. Although it doesn't work the same way around. If we create a function, and then we define a variable, let's say epic, and give it the value 25, and then we outside of that we say print epic, you say it gives us an error. That's because this print does not have access to this variable value. Only the function has access to it. So keep in mind that any variable defined within a function stays within that function. But any variable defined outside of the function can be used throughout the program even within functions. So that has that's important when it comes to priority of variables. Let's say we have score and it has the value 25 and then we define a function and within this function we give score the value 15, right? And then what we do is we print score and then we div we uh, call game and the only thing game does is print score. What, what do you think it's going to print? 15 or 25? Well, it's actually going to print 15 because this one has a higher priority over the outside code. So the outside code can be used within the function. The inside code can't be used with on the outside of the function. And it has a higher priority because it's uh, farther indented within our blocks of code essentially. So now if we call game, I'm sorry, uh, uh, we have to print that out. And then we, so we first let's print score and then let's call game. You can see it prints 15. So just keep in mind when you are working with variables, be very clear on the names and be careful defining functions with um, defining variables within functions and so forth just so that you don't get any errors or any mistakes uh, thinking that oh this should print out 25 because score has the value of 25 as we defined it up here but basically uh, just keep that in mind um, when you're using functions it might be useful to use uh, variable names that are not already being used outside of the function. So we could have probably used a different word here. We could have used, um, we could have just used game. And then now when we print out, when we call game, it's going to give us, uh, sorry, we, I guess we'd have to change that to game. Now it's going to give us uh, 15. So that's just something you can do to help clear up confusion within your program. So hopefully that was helpful, and uh, be sure to stick around for the next video, and be sure to subscribe.